In this tutorial, we are going to talk about exporting your design as a 3D PDF file. This is a model of a measuring tape. We are going to prepare it for exporting as a 3D PDF document. Click on Scene States. Scene States is an option that allows you to save several attribute preferences for your scene. Those attributes can be later used in your PDF document as a tool to enhance your presentation. Some of the attributes that Scene States can capture are materials, cameras, and lights to name a few. To create a scene state for materials, disable the attributes except for the material attribute from the scene states tab, then click capture. This has created a thumbnail for your scene state. Click on it and change the name to option 1. Change the material colors for this model. Once you're done with creating your second color options, click on Capture from Scene. Select the newly created thumbnail and name it Option 2. Notice that when you double-click on the thumbnail, the scene changes to the preferences that the scene state holds. Disable the Material attribute from the Scene State tab and enable the Camera attribute. Change your camera to a perspective view and click Capture. Select the thumbnail that has been created and name it Perspective. Change the camera to a side view and click Capture again. Name the scene state Side. Change the camera one last time to a top view and click Capture. Name this scene state Top. Notice that when activating a scene state, it only applies the attributes it's holding. So, for example, activating the side scene state would only affect the camera regardless of the materials applied. Go to the Sharing Bench and click on the PDF Settings. In the first tab in the Settings window, you can choose a template for the PDF file. There is a big collection of templates with different themes to choose from. You can also choose to create a new template or edit one. Click New. This will open SimLab Template Designer, where you can edit a template or create a new one. In the Page Size window, change the page's view from Portrait, which is oriented vertically, to Landscape. Select the width and height of the document in pixels or in length units. In this example, I will set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080, which are the dimensions of the image that I will use as a background from this template. Click OK to generate an empty file with the size you've set. The properties of the background are displayed to the left. Select a single color to change the color of the background to a solid color. Linear Gradient will create a gradient of multiple colors that you choose. Or you can select Image to browse your files and pick an image to display as the template's background. This is a template I created using Photoshop. It has a simple outline for how the template should be arranged. Click on 3D Area and click on the template to place the 3D area. Click and drag the 3D area to accurately position it where you need it to be. Use the red draggers to change the size and shape of the 3D area. Click on the text icon and then click on the top of the template design to add a title for the document. Type in the title for the file. Then set the font type as well as the color and the size of the text and click OK.
To add buttons that call the early created scene states, create a text and type in perspective. To make the button more distinctive, add an image of a button. The button appears to be converting the text that's been added. To solve this, right-click the button image and select Send to Back. Add another text, or you can simply press Ctrl and C, then Ctrl and V on your keyboard to duplicate it. You can do the same for the button image as well. Double-click the duplicated perspective text to edit it, and type in Side. Edit all of the duplicated text and type in labels related to their scene state function. Now that you are done with the buttons, all that is left to do is to connect them to the scene states. To do so, click on the first button. And on the left panel, click on the Type drop-down list. You can choose from this list what action to take when the button is clicked in the PDF file. You can link this button to a website, display a message box, play an animation, run a script, or call a scene state. Set it to Scene State. In the Name box, type the exact name of the scene state you created in Simlab Composer. In this case, it will be Perspective. Click the second button. Set the type to Scene State. Type the name Side. For the third button option, type in Top. Option 1 and Option 2 for the remaining button as you name them in Simlab Composer. To create a link to a website from this page, add text and type in a title to be displayed. And from the panel to the left, set the type to URL, then type the web address you need this text to link to. Once you are done, click on Save, set the path and the name of the template, and click Save. Close the Template Designer to go back to Simlab Composer. Click Refresh and select the template you just saved. On the second tab of the PDF Settings window, you can select Background Music to play while the PDF document is open. You can also set a password that will be required to be typed upon the opening of the PDF file. In the 3D tab, you can control whether to show or hide the 3D toolbar and the world axis. You can also disable the selection of components in the PDF document. You can choose to have the model tree open, which will display all the components of your model in a list. You can set the default navigation mode, render mode, and light type for the scene. Those modes can be later changed while the PDF document is open via the 3D toolbar. The Show SimLab Buttons bar will display buttons to switch between your scene states and camera views. Automatic Transition will switch between different cameras in your scene automatically. In the Animation tab, 
set the rate of displaying the animation frames in the FPS section. You can set the playing mode of your animation to repeat itself in a loop, or go back and forth, or to be played once. In the Advanced tab, you have the option to run a JavaScript, or a 3D JavaScript with the document. Other options you have in this page are to disable measurements, preserve image resolution in full screen, and set which parameters to export along with the PDF document. Click on Save Current Settings as default, and then click on Export PDF. Select the path and the name of the file, and click Save. In the Scene States Manager, you can select which states to export with the PDF file. Keep them all checked and click OK. Clicking the button to the left will activate each scene state connected to the button. Another SimLab Composer feature that complements 3D PDF is Texture Baking. Texture Baking is a process that calculates the values of lights and shadows along with the materials in the scene and converts them to a texture map that mimics the behavior of a rendered image when applied to the model. This allows the user to navigate the model and view it from several angles without the need to render each angle separately. You can export the models that have texture maps applied to them in the same fashion as other models. More explanations and tutorials on texture baking can be found on SimLabSoft's official website. SimLab Composer's ability to export sophisticated 3D models as 3D PDF documents combined with the use of the template designer make for a great tool to professionally present your designs and easily customize your demonstration.